speak my opinion. <laughs> Mr. Robertson, I'll leave um, for purposes of this. Yeah. You just shut off your microphone. No, you? okay. I speak my opinion right here. You won't ever see me being quoted in the press saying that what I don't say right here. But when I look up and I'm told to check a blog and you're being quoted as saying this has been the most unfair process that you have ever seen in hiring and selecting an administrator. I'm not going to go to the media and say that kind of stuff. I may say it right here, but nearly all of your negative comments about us are in the media. I will say you never answer a media call, and you never answer. I got a call from Jeremy Morrison on my way home. I didn't call Jeremy Morrison. He called me after the meeting. I just said no comment. What no comment. Uh, so you never make comments about anything. You never comment well, on a story to anybody, any well, reporter. Well, comment. I, that's, well, that is so absurd. That's well, the absurd. Well, a comment where I've ever ran down a fellow commissioner or said our human resources officer and our staff has come up with the most unfair process in trying to select a administrator. I'm simply saying, Mr. Chairman, I didn't say you did one thing or the other. The fact that you were unwilling to allow me to bring forward an idea and a concept, and you fear that concept, that makes it unfair. I didn't say anything about Commissioner Robertson or Commissioner Valentino. I said the process, to me, is an unfair process. Well, the unprocessed... I stand by that. Were you through, sir? Yes. My comment to your comment is what's unfair about the process is that at the 11th hour, you're gerryman gerrymandering the process by suggesting a new procedure with the Florida Association of Counties that is not in the business of finding administrators. They have, they are offering a, I've been at the same meetings you were at, and they are getting into the idea of looking to help counties select administrators. Now, they are not employment agencies, and they are not subject matter experts on the, on the uh, interview and selection and establishing the underwriting criteria associated with finding a good administrator. And whether the process was, was good with the Florida Association of Counties or not is second to the point that we agreed collectively that there would be a process that would be followed. And it wasn't in my understanding of how or when or where Mr. Tour chose to apply. He did apply. It was at the 11th hour before the uh, applications were closed. And it was uh, after I had asked Mr. Turner from Human Resources, how are we looking uh, with the selection process? And I said, is it fair to say that the candidates in consideration are mediocre at best? His response was yes. I did not exercise any influence over him, nor did I steer him towards suggesting that Mr. Tord apply. That was solely Mr. Tord's dis dis the suggestion. And the fact, uh, you will have your turn in a second, and the fact that the media chose, chooses to link up from input from other commissioners who will remain unnamed, this, the impression that Mr. Tort and I are somehow in bed together is reprehensible. When I know firsthand, shade meetings were scheduled with the former administrator to take care of legal fees for certain commissioners that the media couldn't even report on because they were in the shade. Now, I'm not going any further with that which I can't talk about, but if we, all I know, Mr. When I'm done, I'll talk, to, I'll let you speak. What all I know is that you were, you introduced a plan this morning that four commissioners think was out of line. And that was you, you breached the process that we've agreed to in bringing a, in, in having already established a selection process for this administrator. You're one of five up here. Start acting like it. What's your what, What's your comment? Absolutely, I am one of five, and, and I acted act like, like it. it. I acted like it, and I brought forward an idea, it, which was a concept. The Florida Association of Counties has been hired by a county. I didn't say I was hiring them, and I didn't say anything else to the effect of all the things that you've said. What I said is that there is a practice by which they do soft commitments. What do you fear anybody else applying okay. for the job? The issue is that is what I have asked. I didn't go out to say anything to anybody else. The press contacted me, and I made Excuse a comment me. in the you press didn't go out to say by which I said, this. "Huh? I didn't say. I didn't say anything to the press." If you want to talk about issues you have about the shade meeting, I believe you can talk to the county no, attorney. That, that meeting is that that shade meeting is now totally open. Correct. Because that has been that no, that, uh, that process has been completed. So if you yeah, want to well, talk about it, let, you're more than on, welcome to talk. I'd be happy about it. to. Let's the issue on, is you seem to want to talk about personality issues. 
I want to talk about process. I want to talk about a fair process that would allow somebody else to be forward. Nobody came up here before this and made right. this decision. Let's talk about a fair simply, process. I, I simply made bring, came forward. If it if it dies and it goes down four one, I, that that doesn't matter to me. The issue is the 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 vehemency and the and the ugliness that comes out of this process just because somebody brings forward an idea, an idea which you can't seem to grapple around, and you want to run after me personally. And what I heard about this meeting this morning, I think I heard plenty about what was said about me personally at this dais this morning by you. You so probably again, did. <laughs> so again, that's exactly what I did, and I responded when I was called, and I was told that that happened. So I said well, that it was an unfair process. Could, could, I could I respond? No, I want to. I want to respond to what he said, and Wilson. Then I'll recognize. Recognize you, if I may, right after George, or do you want to talk before? No, I'll we'll talk before George. Okay, then let me respond as process. Let's talk about let's talk about the process. A few weeks ago, most of the commissioners were in Tampa. A gentleman came up to me, asking me about the status of his application. I didn't know who he was. His name wasn't even on the list that was presented to us by Mr. Turner. Apparently, that name uh, had never qualified to be an applicant because he hadn't filled out all the paperwork that the 40-some-odd other people had filled out, and so he was disqualified on face for an incomplete submission. I came back and asked Tom about it and looked for his name on the list. It wasn't there. Yesterday, I understand you received by UPS a submission. This person, I understand, was someone you encouraged to apply for the job. This process had to be opened to allow that person to apply. Now, if you want a fair and open process, why are you manipulating the system at the 11th hour, which will get no press from Rick Outson, I promise you. Why did you, why did you manipulate the process at the 11th hour to gerrymander the process to allow this person to apply that had, uh, that had gone far past the deadline. I actually it was a rhetorical question. I'm not looking for a response. <laughs> Mr. Well, you Robinson, don't like any real responses. Well, no, that's, that, that's obviously not true. Mr. Robertson. Mr. Chairman, let me just state, since Commissioner Robinson wasn't here, and there was never any real negative uh, private personal uh, conversation about you. It was the process you're trying to to go through that you're blaming us for not putting our arms around. Everybody here said they knew about it 10 minutes ago. That was this morning. We could have easily uh, accepted that process had you brought it forward months ago, but remember how long we've been going through this. Remember when you and Commissioner, all of us, said we want a permanent administrator on board by July, by the end of July. We, have, we opened it back up a second time, and we went through a whole process because we wanted more applicants. Now we're at the 11th hour. We appointed committees. We've all agreed to it, all voted on it. We appointed committees by each member rep putting someone on a committee to represent us. They've had two meetings for us to have their final meeting next week. They narrowed it down out of 40-something to 10. They were going to bring it down next week to either 5 or 7, and we're ready to, to start thinking of bringing them in, interview, hiring. We're going to end it by the end of July. That's what we all ask. We get an ad on this morning Were you not even being here to, to tell us anything about it or defend yourself, which we didn't say a thing. You go look at the tape. We didn't run you down personally. But to bring it in here, it was so ridiculous. Now, if you want to take your actions as personal, I said it was ludicrous. I said it's ridiculous. Okay. Wait a minute, I'm going to finish. Go ahead. And all I said was you wanted in that add-on to open the process back up and take applications and go through it all over again. George don't need to apply. We can do this every six months, and George will be here forever. Why do you even need? I mean, we're going to every few months, we're going to open it back up and go through the process. When do we get a permanent administrator? We've been going through an interim administrator for nearly a year. And I'll go look at that tape. You were not personally attacked. Your actions were, which are usually ridiculous, because you're out doing most of your... You can laugh all you want to. You're out doing most of your conversations about this board. I'm not going to cut it off yet. You're, t you're doing most of your accusations about this board in the press. If you would just have the guts that you have now, seemingly, to come here and do it... I was in Panama City. 
Yeah, yeah, but man. You, hey, you're on the radio look. to the newspaper this morning uh, today. On the radio this morning. I mean, on the air. They called you, right? They called me. Why correct. don't you do what we've asked you many times? Just say, let me get the facts. Let me go see what happened. And I have no comment at this time. Can't you do that? Other commissioners have been asked questions about their fellow commissioners many times. I have read it where they said, I don't know. I'm not going to comment. But, buddy, you will run us down in the media at a heartbeat. Crover, you're willing, you're welcome to respond. Seriously, George, George has been waiting to speak. I would you ask, need to respond. Go ahead. I would ask the question, how many meetings, how many public meetings have we had to do county business? I mean, not out of the, uh, I don't 